Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. This is Jeremy and we are playing Subnautica. So, right now we need to get all of the uh, all the items that we need for a mobile vehicle bay and the sea moth. Once we get the sea moth, we should be able to go deep enough to find the moon pool, which will give us a better place to dock it, because otherwise we're just going to sort of park it on one of our empty places. Uh, I don't know. Right there. So, I do have a, a message waiting. We'll do that in a second. We are going to seek fluid intake, which I think is this one. So, real quick, we are going to... I can't... Dang it. Alright, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Might have to deconstruct these signs. And... Hmm. Does that make it easier for me to reach if I go here? Dang. Alright, so what I'm going to end up doing, I guess, maybe, is moving everything over just a little bit. Uh, so that'll, that's, that's all for another time. So another time, another worry, whatever. Let's take this filtered water first. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Now. We need titanium ingots, lube, and power cells. Um, I've got some lube, not much. I need one more. I'm going to need more glass. That's fine. And I'm going to need more... Titanium, by far. It's going to be my big thing. So, let's go out on... An expedition. Um, you know what? If we go... Yeah. If we go this way... I wonder if I can put an... Hmm. Anyway. I just had an idea that uh, didn't make sense, so I don't think I'm going to complete that thought. Alright, let's get some titanium first. That stuff's always plentiful. We'll go ahead and find anything else that we can find while we're out here. Is that salt? No. You don't really need salt right now. I could go ahead and grab... a seed or two. Though I do have that right outside my thing. Ah, I forgot about that. I grew them on purpose. Alright. I think it's 10 titanium per titanium ingot. And I need one each for the mobile vehicle bay and the sea moth. Now I need a little more, um, quartz. I need more quartz. Are you quartz? Nah, you're salt. 30 seconds. I know, I know. I'm, we're good. Everything's fine. Up. 
back down. Maybe we'll see some quartz while we're coming down. Yep. Salt. Kind of got to get a little bit up. And I'm purposefully ignoring that guy. Because he will eventually go away. Also, ignoring whatever the hell that was. I don't know what that was. It's a new noise. Ah, let's go over here. I know. I know. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not really worried. Hoping. Eh, guess not. Alright. Well, I was hoping there would be something in there. Maybe I've already been over here and I've gotten it already. That's a possibility. Thirty seconds remaining. I know. Hello. What are you? Scanner room fragment! Oh, that's two of three! I'm going, man. Oh heck. Oh, come on, make it. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Ah, oh, you're the best. Yeah. Yeah. That is a perfect response for dying. What is that? Oh, jeez. It scared me. <laughs> All right, let's get back down here, see if maybe we can find that third piece of the scanner room. That would make my whole day. So then I could have one built. Could do all kinds of stuff. But then, like, once you have the scanner room, you can scan for specific items. And it'll show you where they all are, and you don't have to do as much guesswork anymore. And that would be super nice. And I found... Uh... Oh. And I found you. Hello. Hey, buddy. I think I've been in here. Yeah. Or not. All right, 30 seconds. seconds. I know. All right, let's head on up, and then I want to check that wreck, maybe. See what's going on over there. Okay. So one thing I don't really understand is why the oxygen tanks only last for, what is it, a minute and 40 seconds is all I can get out of it right now. I'm sure there's, you know, you can get other stuff, but dang, oh, I dropped this metal salvage for right now. Hello, what are you? Oh, that's a sea moth fragment. I don't really need that right now. Uh, because I have the sea moth, so I don't need the fragment. That's metal salvage. Metal salvage. Quartz, thank you. How much quartz do I have? Four pieces. That's two pieces of glass. Yeah, that should be it. What's that? Oh, cool. That's an egg. I want to find the alien containment unit so that I can start hatching some of these eggs that I find. I think that could be a lot of fun. All right. 
let's make it back to the base. And we'll go ahead and build... Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. We'll go ahead and build the... Uh, yeah, the vehicle bay and the Seamoth. I ought to be able to get both of them out of this little adventure. My favorite is kind of dolphining in and out of the water. Uh, you can do it a lot better with the Seamoth. You can actually catch some pretty decent hang time if you do it right. Alright. We are almost back. Glide's power is still pretty decent. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Now, fabricator. Deployable. Titanium ingot, ingot lubricant, power cell. So what I need to do is... Make a lubricant. And I'll make another one. I only need the two, but it's always good to have an extra one, just in case. Make a whole mess of titanium. Because I only need two titanium ingots, right? And there they are. Fantastic. It's 10 titanium per one titanium ingot. Um, go ahead and make these two glass. Uh, hit up this for some... Uh, nope. Hit up this. Nope. Really need to figure out a, a way to get these signs right. Uh, it was this one. Nope. Dang. This one. Uh, no point in using my batteries. I'll just use my power cells. Hey, edit sign. Power. There. Hey, cool. Alright, so what's in this one? Oh, high end. Alright, good. I can actually do this. Fantastic. So, titanium. You just have to get it the right angle. That's a that's a start. Power, high end. Like this is these will be like placeables. Okay. Anyway. Hmm. Deployables. Mobile vehicle bay. You mobile vehicle bay goes there. Go out real quick. And really and truly, we can just hit that up. Get up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Use the vehicle bay. to pop out a sea moth. And there we go. We may as well just leave the, the mobile vehicle bay right there. But we can get in our sea moth. Yay! 
All right. So for the time being, we are going to park you right here. So access upgrades. I don't have the upgrades on me, but I do have a Seamoth upgrade that I picked up in the Aurora. I can't remember what it is, but that's fine. Let's grab it. Um, shoot. Did I put that in power? Yes. Okay. Uh, depth module. All right. That'll help us go to some slightly deeper spots without being too scared of, uh, you know, crushing us. Oh, dick. <laughs> Dropped it. Everything's fine. Equip. Yes, crush depth is now 300 meters. So I can go quite a ways. All right, let's get back inside here. All right, uh, you know what, fellas? Uh, guys, I'll be right back. Uh, give me just a minute. Someone's at my door. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Uh, it's going to be a little bit jarring with the, the pause and unpause there, but whatever. Um, let's see. We've built our Seamoth. Let's go ahead and listen to this message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Alright, is this the one that gives me the timetable? Not yet. Alright. Well, we've built our Seamoth. We've got our mobile bay. I'm going to bring the mobile bay in just in case. I know it doesn't really move around, but... I want to pack it back up and we'll chuck it in here for tools. Can I? Uh, let's see. I think I can take off the radiation helmet now. Put my rebreather back on. Right, what's in this one? Crafting. What's in this one? deconstruct this sign. Put it maybe higher? Would higher? Oh, higher works. Perfect. Okay. I don't know what's in here. Food and stuff. Food and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so higher works. That way I don't have to move all these lockers. I was really dreading having to do that. Tools. So, if that's the case, let's pull these guys out. The flares and uh, the fire extinguisher. Everything in there is a tool now. Um... What are you? We'll do low end building and we'll actually make this hot and I like it better like this. High end building. <clears throat> Uh, 
Fantastic. Now everything has a sign. And now I know what everything is. And it'll be a lot less fumbling around. Let's go. And put some of these things up on my walls. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with the Seamoth. Like where I want to go. And I think that's probably going to be for another... Um, for another day. Right now. Stop that. Right now. No, don't sleep. Don't, don't sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> All right. Well, you've slept now. I think it's daytime. Awesome. Whatever. Let's get this facing. I was place I was pushing the wrong button anyway. Okay. Put that there. And we'll put our keep calm poster here. And we will put our Seamoth poster, not Seamoth, what's that, the prawn? We'll put our prawn suit poster there. Just, you know, just because. It's pretty cool. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Uh, the rest of this episode... Pretty much done everything. Let's check the fabricator, see if there's anything else in here that I want to do. Tools. Uh, propulsion cannon. Yeah, I could make one of those. Why not? I've got the I've got the items to do it. Pathfinder. I don't really need that. Any new equipment that I can use? Rebreather, first aid. SDO2 I've already got. Um, deployables. I should probably build some beacons at some point. Yeah, alright. So let's go with the... What was it that I'm building? Ah, the propulsion cannon. Because with that, I can go to that other place in the Aurora, uh, maybe next video. So a wiring kit, battery, and titanium. So... We'll grab our battery. We'll grab our two silver. We'll grab our titanium. We'll come over here. And we will make our... See, I wish you could uh, just hit that and it would make the wiring kit. Because I've got the tool... You know, I've got the stuff for the wiring kit. If you just hit propulsion cannon, it would take... And it would turn your thing into a wiring kit first, and then it would make the propulsion cannon. That would be cool. And there we go. Alright, so let's throw this, the habitat builder, into tools. Um, I probably will need the repair tool and the laser cutter. And the flashlight... Do I have photo? Oh, take, uh, so F11 will make a screenshot. Cool. So this is basically the things that I will need to go to the Aurora again, plus some food and water, of course, just in case I've gotten it all. I want to make sure that I have some on me. Hit the marble melons to get a couple more. You. Let's go ahead and plant the rest of these. Yum. There. All right. Well, hmm. That's probably it for right now. Um, no. 
there was a thing I wanted to do. I wanted to get the brain coral. Let's do that. I think there's some just like lying around, but I want to plant some brain coral right outside my base. One, I think it'll look cool. And two, it provides uh, air while I'm just sort of goofing around. Like it's not in, it's not a hundred percent important right outside my base because my base is so low, or it's so close to the surface. But, you know, I think it'll look cool. There's a scanner out here. Scan that sucker real quick. Thank you. But yeah, this thing spits out a bubble and it gives you about 10 oxygen. So in a pinch, it can be super useful. So now we've got our sea moth and we've got Harvey, our, uh, our life pod, but they're all sort of right in next to our base. I haven't named the base. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Hmm. Anyway, let's come on over here. So that'll start to grow. Yeah, oh, this is the writhing weed. I got it because it looks neat. These are all good. All right. So, guys, that's going to be it for today. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. It means a whole lot to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.